Michael Ziegfeld? Yeah, that's me. Me. No, st stay close. You're up next. Yeah. I've never been very comfortable with the audition thing. It's not so much the auditioning itself as it is the other guys you have to share the audition room with. I just want to blow you away. But by the time I'm seen, my self-esteem is on the decay. This got forsaken DNA. But hey, you gotta use what you got. Ow. I just want to blow you away. But all these other guys, they moisturize and wax every day. Plus, they took cocaine and ballet. OK, they get cast because they're hot. So yeah, maybe he's not shallow, and maybe he's not stupid. Maybe he's just disassociated because he's nervous. Let's find out. Hey, dude, do you know what time it is? What do you mean? OK. <laughs> I know this might seem judgmental, but once you get past their looks, what do you see? Just another six foot two walking STD. Hello, back to me. Here's my pledge. I'll make you laugh your ass off. I'm the character actor. That's my edge. That's his edge. Don't help me, please. I like the newer actors who are, they are just begging for so much individuality that they change the spelling of their normal name to phonetics. Anyone? Hi, I'm Cindy, C-Y-N-D-E-E. -E. That is fucking annoying. It's worse when the guys do it. Hi, I'm Daniel, D-A-N-Y-U-L. You're a homo. From now on, I'm going to spell mine M-I-K schwa L. I want to stick pins in your eyes. I pray you get a rectal rash. I hope your visas decline. Your children are blind. You're broke and have to do porn for cash. Become epileptic and violently shake. Find out that you were conceived by mistake. Fall out of a roller coaster. Take a warm bath with a plugged-in toaster. In short, I hope you fucking die. I do, I do, I do it all for free. I do all the last show. Are there any Jews for Jesus out here? Yeah. Really? That's fucking stupid. Sorry. I'm sorry. Now, Jew, now you're just making shit up. I'm sorry. Pick one story and stick to it. That's all I'm saying. Because guess what? If we're allowed to start making shit up, I'm going to start praying to a bag of Doritos or my neighbor Kevin. And uh, I sowed my oats. I plowed a field. My field of dreams. If you stroke him, he will come. It's my neighbor Kevin. It stops here, and then there's a skin moat, right? What do you do with that? Do you comb it over? Do you shave it? Do you respect it? I don't know what to do with that. It's been hot, also very sweet, and I'm not usually indiscreet. But when your grandmother and I are here to create a no-pressure situation for you, a buffer, what more a cushion. Can I say? How can I express? How confused no. am I? I cried for three months. Happiness. But uh, <clears throat> I've, I've dreamt uh, many times about what I would say to him if our paths ever crossed again. We laugh, we stumble. Take it day by day. What more can I say? Well, so thank you all for coming. I hope I surpass your dream. I'm not the crazy one in the voices in my head. Even wrote 
off my own script <laughs> To write my agent's number down And put my shameless plug Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out. Uh, before we uh, let you go, first of all, thank you for uh, supporting uh, people trying to do something new in New York. This is the only city that lets you do that. Uh, before we get into the big stuff, let me just say, uh, afterwards, we'd like you to join us at the bar for a drink for a little meet and greet. Um, you know, this kind of show is very, you know, I don't know if it looks elaborate or not, but uh, a lot of performers are trying to do this sort of thing, and you're a round peg in a square hole finding something else that works for you. And uh, that's what this was for me. And if you're lucky, in a city like this, you can get some amazing talent to work for you for a very non nominal fee. And I thank the cast. And we didn't really uh, meet the band, so let me tell you who's up there. It's Justin and Drew and Jeremy and Eric, the boys in the band. Um, yeah. Okay. Also, when you travel on the road for 15 years, you meet a couple of really talented people. Uh, my stage staff, my team, um, Jake and uh, Rachel were on deck, and uh, my production manager's name is Son Bauer Lane, and when I asked Son to do this, she said, hey, you know, this is a big expense. How do you feel about corporate sponsorship? And I said, I friggin' love it. So uh, what she did was she spearheaded uh, a couple of sponsors for us. First of all, our biggest sponsor, which you see in the programs, there's samples out in the lobby. It's a, a, a jamesplace.com from Seattle. New small little business, just like what we're trying to do here for ourselves. Uh, great uh, new hair care products and skin products eventually. Uh, we thank them, they helped us financially. Then we had a lot of donations. Um, uh, Gotham Scenic uh, gave us, yeah, gave us the, are you here, is this you? Gave us the letters, what the fuck am I gonna do with these now? <laughs> and uh, um, Jessica and uh, Jurelik, uh, it was one of our, um, am I always saying it wrong? I'm so uncouth, it's Jurelik, right? Jurelik? Great, I'll just talk to myself. It is your league, right? <laughs> I mean, they wanted a plug, well, fuck you. Okay, great. So, no, no, uh, they, they gave us a lot of sample products for uh, skin and hair and all that kind of stuff. We also had um, a lot of technical stuff. Uh, the, the crew, the zipper was amazing. And finally, what I wanted to uh, say to you before I let you go is, um, this all came about about six months ago where uh, I called my boyfriend's house and his roommate was there and they said, oh, we're glad you're called. We've been discussing your career and we have it all worked out. So, <laughs> You need to do a one-man show that's not your act. And uh, because whether you like it or not, you're an actor. So um, I said, well, I don't know, one-man shows, one-person shows, they're so you know, self-serving and you know, they're stupid. And uh, he said, right, well, you know, um, you'd have to have a good director. And uh, I thought, well, the only one-person show I ever really enjoyed was Broadway's Jackie Hoffman at Joe's Pub. And I thought, whoever directed her and could rope in that crazy bitch, I gotta find this guy. <laughs> So I found him, I sent him my stuff, he emailed me the next day and he's like, I'm in. So, uh, and his name's Michael Shirelli, he's up there. Thanks, Michael. He's brilliant. So, so join us in the lobby. For any of you who have not met me before, we're also selling my DVDs uh, from my stand-up New York show, Jewicidal Tendencies. And uh, if you buy one, they're $10, and if you buy two, they're $20. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you.